Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen around the world, it's Monkey Mid here again for another roundup of Kiss Singles. Now if you've never seen my channel before and you collect Kiss Singles, you probably want to stick around for a little while and uh, we'll see what we've got in my collection. Um, so today I'll be just be doing the Kiss Singles stuff and uh, not bootlegs that I normally do. So uh, let's kick off with the first one. Um, ah, I don't know what this is doing in here but... Uh, I do buy other records uh, as well, as well as Kiss, but I um, I picked this up the other day, um, Iron Maiden's Purgatory, an original uh, UK 7-inch EMI label. Uh, it was rather cheap, about uh, £20, that's what, 25 bucks, and it is in really nice condition, okay, so uh, there you go. Um, but this isn't the Iron Maiden show, this is the Kiss show, so uh, let's move on. Um, right, the first one, I have actually done a review on this one before, um, I just upgraded it and I managed to get this one off eBay from a good friend of mine, well we've become friends, I don't know about a good friend, but we've become friends, uh, Jezza, thank you very much for this one, this is in really nice condition, a little bit better than the one I uh, previously had, and uh, it is a Hard Luck Woman EP, the UK 7 inch pie uh, EP pie label and uh, it's in very nice condition so uh, got it for a good price so uh, thank you very much Jezza and uh, keep in touch right next up um, yeah I'll tell you what uh, I think I've discussed this before in my um, previous um, uh, videos uh, on Kiss singles uh, where to buy uh, and that kind of thing uh, I normally get my stuff off eBay, but uh, I've been buying a lot of stuff off from um, Discogs uh, lately. Uh, Discogs is a great place to buy um, records, a great place to boost your collection. But, you know, there have been occasions where records have come through and it's not the right one. Uh, I ordered Strutter uh, 78. I wanted a French one. And um, <clears throat> instead, a, <clears throat> a German one comes through. Uh, I didn't ask for this. I asked for a French one. Um, so my advice to you guys out there that are collecting records and are using Discogs is to ask the seller to send pictures of exactly what they are selling. Okay, I think that is pretty important. Um, but this came through. Um, <laughs> uh, the seller was really good. I mean, so far with Discogs, all the records that have been coming through and they've been either you know not the right one or whatever. I have had a refund uh, or partial refund from the seller, so it's been good. Now, I actually haven't got this one, but I have. But anyway, I'll just quickly show you this one. This is uh, Strata 78. It's a German one on a Bellathon label. I've always liked this one. Um, but anyway, uh, that's the front. That's the back there. Okay. Uh, but I have another version of this. Uh -huh. There we are. Okay. So this version is from the KISS box set, uh, the 2012 uh, box set. Um, so um, th this is kind of like a reproduction of the original. And you can tell the difference. I'll try and bring it up. If you can just see on the bottom corner there, it does say Bellathon. Okay, if you want the original one, it would be the Bellathon one. But you can tell the difference anyway because the reissues are a lot thicker. Okay, the cardboard's a lot thicker. So, um, so there you go. But I got a full refund for this one, so thank you very much to that person. I um, can't remember his name now, but anyway. So uh, it's kind of nice to have. There's the front. Oh, where's the back? And again, the back, if you can see, it will say Bellathon on this one and not on the reissue, okay? Uh, I'll just show you the label, actually. Let's have a look. And there you have it. There it is. Okay. Uh, and then we have the reissue. I'll show you the label on the reissue. It's, uh, there we go. Okay. So you can tell it's slightly darker, okay? The reissues are slightly darker, slightly a sort of a darker, yellowy, sandier colour. So there you go. Okay. But, uh, as I said to you before, when you buy stuff off this old, you don't get to look at the picture of what the seller is selling, but there is the option of asking the, um, the seller, okay? Or uh, for a picture, so there you go. Right, next up. 
Right, I've got three here. I'm going to put these three kind of like together. Uh, although this is the first one that does not not come with the three that I bought all together. This one separately. Again, this is another Dissog's um, thing. Uh, I ordered Hold Me, Touch Me. Okay, there you go. Hold Me, Touch Me. This is on the American uh, Casablanca label. Okay. Um, but it's the um, the camel label, okay? It's not the Filmworks label. I wanted the Filmworks label. So um, anyway, this came through, which isn't a problem because I haven't got this anyway. But again, I got a full refund uh, from the um, from the seller. Uh, so everything's going my way so far. Um, but yeah, this is quite unusual to have. Um, Hold Me, Touch Me on the Camel label. It's obviously the Camel label stopped at around 76. Uh, after Destroyer, they kind of like um, finished the Camel label. I don't think Camel label was on, or the original American uh, Camel label was on Rock and Roll Over, or was it? I can't remember now. You guys remind me. I'm not an expert on this. Um, but anyway, uh, obviously Hold Me, Touch Me came out in 78, so they're still using the Camel label. Um, but there you go. So that's... Uh, Hold me, touch me, and our oh, goodbye on the other side. Um, so yeah, it just comes in a plain sort of uh, Casablanca sleeve, okay. But uh, I asked for the film. Well, the guy advertised it as the Filmworks label, but the Camel label came through, so got a refund. So that was good, okay. Um, so because I didn't, I didn't manage to get the Filmworks label, I had to order it from someone else. With someone else who did me a very good deal. He did me three records, okay? The first one will be Hold Me, Touch Me, okay? There you go. There's the camp. There's the uh, Filmworks label, okay? Um, I don't need to compare this, do I? Yeah, yeah there's, that's the difference, okay? So that's the Filmworks label, Hold Me, Touch Me, with Goodbye on the other side. Uh, again, these just came in a, a plain Casablanca sleeve. Okay. Um, so that was the first one I got. The second one I got from the same seller, from Dissolves. I got Peter Chris. Don't you let me down. Uh, again, on the uh, Filmworks uh, label. I don't think, or I haven't seen one on a Camel label. Although, when I watched um, Kiss My Wax a few weeks ago, I believe someone did have a Camel uh, label. I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, as far as I know, it's only came on the Filmworks. And this is unusual, because Peter Chris uh, released um, two singles. Uh, Tossing and Turning and Don't You Let Me Down. I believe Don't You Let Me Down was the first one. And Tossing and Turning was the second one, was it vice versa? Anyway, they both didn't chart. It made nothing, but uh, I like it. Uh, everyone still argues which is the best solo album, which is the worst. And everyone says Peter Chris's solo album was the worst. I actually like it. In fact, I like all four of them. They're all different, you know, which is nice. Uh, it's good to have um, something different. If they all sounded the same, it'd be pretty boring, wouldn't it? Anyway, so that's Don't, um, Don't Let Me Down and uh, Hooked on Rock and Roll. Okay, so there you go. Again, it comes in a Casablanca sleeve. Um, of course, some European ones, like especially the, the English one, is very different. It came with a mask, obviously. And then you have the German one, the French one, and uh, they were all picture covers. But these, in America, just came in a plain brown Casablanca sleeve. Okay, there you go. And the third single I got from the same seller is... Strutter. 78 okay Strata 78 uh, this is on the Filmworks label you can get it on other labels as well uh, I believe on the American import uh, but it's just the uh, standard American issue I believe uh, it just comes in a brown Casablanca sleeve Strata 78 on one side and shock me on the other okay now all the last the, 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 this single the Peter Chris single and the Hold Me, Touch Me, Paul Stanley single all came from Ray Stav on um, uh, Dissogs. All three singles for under £12, including postage, is pretty damn good. Ray Mondo, thank you very much for that. You've made my collection even bigger by selling me records for such a cheap price. And I do like it cheap, as my friend Jason would know. <laughs> I'm a bit tight when it comes to buying Kiss singles. In fact, buying anything. <laughs> 
So, thank you very much, Raymond, uh, for the three singles. I do appreciate it. We need more sellers like you. We really do. Not the ones that rip you off on eBay. This will probably cost you about £20 on eBay. On its own. Right, guys, next one I have. Um, let's get the right one out. Not that one. Here we go. Kiss, Creatures of the Night. Um, now... <sighs> This is nothing special, all right? But I didn't realise um, until I looked into it a little bit more that the this one, this UK Creatures of the Night, uh, came in two came in two labels. Okay, there it is. There's the silver label. And I did post this on Facebook, by the way. Uh, in no great shakes, nothing nothing major. They just came in this label. Um, And also, obviously, the picture label, okay? This is the one I've always had since I was a kid, okay? The picture label. I've only ever known the picture label. Um, there you go. Side by side. There you go. I only ever know, knew the picture label, as I said before. A silver one I didn't know existed, but it's nothing over, overly special. Uh... Most of the comments on Facebook were, well, probably the picture label is the more desirable one because it's a picture. But I quite like the silver one. Maybe it's because I haven't seen it before. But, yeah. If, but if you're a collector and you want everything, um, you've got to have this one as well, I guess. Uh, but there you go. Okay. That is the silver one and the picture label. Both on the UK Casablanca label. Okay. Uh, oh. I don't know which is which now, but hey, who cares? There we go. All right, uh, next up we have. Talk to a me um, with Naked City on the B side. This is a Dutch copy, okay. Um, nothing overly special about this one. They use this uh, shot. Um, or well, this photo session, they used it for um, 2000 Man, I believe. Uh, the UK 2000 Man. Uh, that's quite a nice cover. Uh, not too difficult to get this one. I got this one off this old. This was less than six pounds. Okay. Uh, that's the front. Uh, that's the back. A picture of the Unmask album on here. I'll show the inside. There you go. Okay. Talk to me. Okay, I think the Spanish uh, also used the same uh, picture cover, and the Germans did as well. Okay, except their logo was red as opposed to blue, and it had the German S's, not the normal S's. Okay, there we go, which I've shown you before in the past. There we go. The B side is a naked city. There you go. So let's slip that one back in. There is the Dutch talk to me. Okay, very nice. Right. Next up, we have Sure No Something. Okay. This is on the UK uh, Casablanca. Now, this is a promotional copy. Um, I'm guessing you can tell why it's a promotional copy. Okay, there you go. Has a big A on the front there, okay? It says A. A, letter A. So, when you give these to the disc jockeys, obviously uh, they need to play the A side, because not uh, very rarely do they play the B side. So, uh, this is A, so a disc jockey can see it clearly. Ah, oh, yeah, man, I've got to play the A side. And it's also got the release date down here on for the 17th of August, 1979, okay? Now, a few months ago, I did actually do a promo copy, a UK promo copy of I Was Made For Loving You. And I said there was two versions. I was talking bullshit. Okay. I said that there was, uh, I Was Made For Loving You had the uh, big A on there. One had the release date and one didn't have the release date. Okay. So I was, I was talking rubbish. Like I always do. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but no, what it was was I Was Made For Loving You just had the big A on there. Uh, without the release date, but uh, sure knows something 
uh, the second promo single has the release date, okay? So there you go. So I hope that clears things up. Uh, and on the B side is uh, Peter Chris's Dirty Living, okay? So there we go. So Casablanca brown sleeve, nothing special here. But uh, if you're a label addict, you're going to need this one. There you go. All right. Right. Next up, we have another version of I Was Made For Loving You. I tell you what, uh, this picture cover for I Was Made For Loving You is so common now. I think every country probably used the Dynasty album. Uh, picture cover for their seven inch. Uh, this is a German one. Um, it's quite nice. A um, little, little bit different because it's got different S's and uh, a little bit. Uh, the picture's a little bit smaller. Most of the singles are quite sort of large. I was made for loving you. I say this. This was used on on many, uh, a lot of the European singles anyway. Uh, if they had a picture cover. Um, but yeah, nothing I can say about this really. Um, that's the front. Oh, that is the back, okay. Uh, they could have done a little bit more with the back, I think. Um, a little bit boring, but uh, there you go. Um, I was made blood new. And, of course, B-side is Hard Times. I'll show you the label. Uh, the difference, actually, this is quite nice, because the Germans, actually, um, later on, they actually printed onto the vinyl itself, okay. So there's the label. It's uh, not paper. It's actually printed on. So it's quite nice. That's the other side there, okay. Um, there we have it. Um, and I, I've just remembered, again, I got this one from Dissogs. I asked for a German one and an Italian one came through. Okay, so the guy, again, was really good. I don't know why there's Dissogs um, sellers. They're really, really good. Um, I got a full... Um, no, I didn't get a full refund. He just said, keep the Italian one, and he just sent me the uh, German one. So there you go. If anyone wants an Italian one, I have a spare one going. Because uh, I have two of them. Uh, so this was, um, yeah, this is I Was Made For Loving You. There you go. Um, and thank you to the seller who um, replaced it for nothing. There you go. Okay. Right. This has to be the last one, I think. I might be able to squeeze another one in. Okay. We now have, there's nothing special. This is uh, Ace Freely, New York Groove. Uh, now, I did have this one. Um, I reviewed it probably uh, um, about uh, four, five, five, four months ago, something like that. But it was on a Camel label, okay? Now, this New York Groove is on the um, Filmworks label. There you go. Okay, so this one is available on Camel and um, Filmworks. So it's only the Ace 3D one and the Paul Stanley one that I have seen that is available on Camel. Okay, I haven't seen any of the other ones. Uh, the Radioactive, Gene Simmons Radioactive, I have not seen on Camel. If you see that, pick it up. Um, and say the Peter Chris one, I've only seen it once on Kiss My Wax. Okay, that was on Camel label as well. Okay, so nothing too special about this one. This is just New York Groove. Comes in a brown um, Casablanca sleeve. I'll take that out. And on the B side, can you guess what the B side is? Yeah, it's Snow Blind. There you go. Okay, Snow Blind. So, uh, again, I think I picked this one up for, for quite a cheap price. This was on eBay. I think I got it for about £5, which uh, isn't bad. Right, guys. Uh, I'm going to have to say goodbye uh, for the time being. I'm going to take a break. And um, do come back to me. Uh, when you get the time and I'm sure I have some more singles to hopefully impress you and uh, hopefully help you with your collection anyway guys look after yourselves and I'll see you soon adios